Oh well, hello, we're going to look at something which is very different, hopefully something that you haven't seen before and it's something that I've been secretly working on for a little while now and I'm calling it Pull Tracks. I dare say the secret of Pull Tracks is out now because everyone is seeing it but I developed Pull Tracks for a number of reasons. The first reason is I'm having trouble getting my son into the pool. It's a bit perplexing because last year he loved the pool but this year he will not go near the pool, he will not go into the water, he seems to have a fear of water. And because my family lives in Australia, which is an island, I think it's pretty important to know how to swim. This very simple idea of pool tracks basically brings your toy trains to the pool. And the best thing about that is it really ramps up the playability of a simple train set. When I was developing pool tracks, I did try a number of different materials as flotation aids. And in the end, the simplest solution was one of the cheapest. And let me guarantee to you, pool tracks is very simple to make. And if you know me on YouTube, I do like to do things which are different to other YouTubers. I certainly don't like to clone and copy other YouTubers. I'm always looking for something which is a little bit different. And maybe this little sneak peek of pull tracks will give you an insight into what I'm working on for my very special video this year. And those characters that Thomas is pulling along in the troublesome trucks are the Octonauts. And what's very interesting with the Octonauts is that's something that my son is really keyed into. The Octonauts is a very, very popular show, and that's actually one of his Christmas presents being carried along in those troublesome trucks. The funny thing about the Octonauts is when I watched the show, I could see some direct connections to a show that I really loved, and that was Thunderbirds. There's something about the Octonauts and Thunderbirds, I keep thinking, wow, there's bits of uh, Thunderbirds all through the Octonauts, but there's also bits of Star Trek. It's a bit like Thunderbirds plus Star Trek equals Octonauts. And maybe you could throw a little bit of Marine Boy in there as well. And you know, I was down at the toy store the other day. I go to a number of toy stores during the week, and I go to the toy stores very often. I often look in the area which has the toys which are related to the pool. And you know what? I look at those pool toys, and I sort of think, you know, they're sort of boring in my books. I certainly know one thing for sure. You won't find a floating train system there. And I'm sure there's some people out there who've played with their Trackmaster trains in the pool, and they know they actually work underwater quite well. I can't give any guarantees to how long these trains will work after they've been in the pool because normally things that run on batteries don't like being in the water. But you know what, there's one thing I can tell you is that Thomas, which you see in this video, has been in the pool well for a number of times, over a couple of weeks, and he's showing no signs of playing up. Well, my son seemed to love the concept of the pull tracks. He loved basically using it like a shooting gallery. He was dead keen on shooting Thomas off the tracks and seeing them go to the bottom of the pool. But there's one toy which is normally in the pool, which isn't in there at the moment, and that's the pillow pets. For some reason, my daughter will bring out the pillow pets and she'll throw them in the pool. They seem to float quite well, but I don't think they've got any flotation aids inside them. And I'm not sure whether pillow pets have developed pillow pets for the pool. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I haven't really looked around. But deep in the back of my mind, I'm sort of thinking of developing quite a complex train system which can float on the pool. And you know what, I'm thinking back to when my daughter learned how to swim, and I do remember the teachers using little toys as incentives for the children to get in the water and basically swim. Up the end of this video, I'll throw up some video of my boy in the pool last year, and you can see he had no problem with the water, but for some reason, this year, he doesn't want to touch it, and he's really putting up a fight about getting in.
Oh no! Oh, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic 2014. And you know what I'm going to say next, don't you? Bye for now.